This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 13th, day of June. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather wet at times today, but the weekend promises to be drier. Now, let's go in there and take a look at things with the big picture of the water vapor satellite view across the fruited plain early this morning. You can see that impulse coming in from the west with showers and storms pushing into the state. Pretty impressive trough back in the northwest United States. That's the radar early this morning. That was at 5.04. Pretty uh, healthy batch of showers and storms on the western side of the state, producing some good rain at that point from Tuscaloosa down toward Centerville. Watch warning map early this morning. Uh, the east is relatively quiet. Red flag warnings in effect for many of the western states for the danger of wildfires there. Severe weather risks today well to the west. The good news, we don't expect any severe weather problems here. We do have a 5% chance of severe weather over the southern half of the state, but North Alabama, no, not, no severe weather problems. Tomorrow should be an active day for the High Plains, a moderate risk of severe weather. Up there around Omaha, where they've got the uh, College World Series going on, I'll have to watch that carefully. And then on day three, which is Sunday, a severe weather risk from near Oklahoma City up to near Chicago. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is through Wednesday morning of next week. Rain amounts of about one-half to three-quarters of an inch here. And the tropics, at least on the Atlantic side, very quiet. Let's check the GFS. This is the global forecast system, the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock. And you can see a pretty high-amplitude pattern for summer with a trough in the west, a ridge over the middle of the nation, and a trough over the east, and uh, down below that, with a little impulse coming through, we'll expect showers and storms today. Uh, let's take a look at the high-res HRRR model. This is valid at 9 o'clock this morning, and this is really suggesting the bigger rains are going to be along and south of Interstate 20 with not much for the northern uh, third of the state. Uh, that batch of storms you saw there in radar early this morning will push southeast, and again, uh, could very well be if you're in Cullman or Hamilton or Decatur or Moulton. It won't rain that much today. But if you're in places like Clanton and Montgomery and Alexander City and Marion, you'll get a lot of rain. And then as that first batch moves away, this is the way the radar looks. or It's projected to look at 5 o'clock this afternoon coming off that same high-res model. Just showing isolated showers. Got Riverfest in Ganston this evening. Uh, it looks pretty good at this point. Uh, so it just seems like the most widespread rain will be this morning south of Interstate 20. Showers later today, pretty widely spaced. Hey, the weekend looks pretty good. This is uh, tomorrow. We note that uh, big low coming out of the Rockies there across the High Plains. That's going to be a severe weather day for them. But down here, relatively dry air, low dew points, highs in the mid to upper 80s. And uh, just a very small chance of a shower. Most areas dry. And really pretty much the same deal on Sunday. A good deal of sunshine. The chance of any one spot getting a shower, very small. Chance of rain this weekend, not zero, but most places are looking dry. Go to Monday, ridging building in. And the GFS has not been very consistent here in, in, in how the ridge ultimately shapes up. But clearly the heights are, are looking more like summer. And uh, down below that, that looks like a typical June day. Uh, partly sunny with a few scattered afternoon showers and storms high would be probably around 90 if this is right and this is tuesday and really all week it's going to look pretty much the same uh, i think the model is too hot on the numbers the gfs is trying to print mid 90s in here this is wednesday by the way by midweek with the ridge building but with the soil moisture i don't think we get there the high should be closer to 90 uh, thursday you know typical summer weather partly sunny a few spots getting a shower or storm and this is a week from today uh, again, we got flat ridging down here across the deep south and pretty much the same deal. Partly sunny with a few spots getting a shower, but the rain next week should not be as widespread as what we've seen over the past two weeks. And yes, we note the tropical system. You know, one of these times we are going to have one down there, but the, the GFS, as we all know, tends to put down systems that never show up in the medium range. And on the 23rd, moves that thing up toward uh, uh, Tampa Bay. And if you're in Tampa or St. Pete, no need to worry about that. That probably won't happen. We'll check the end of the forecast, June the 28th. The heat bubble shifts to the west 
We have a northwest flow aloft, and the weather would be relatively quiet if this is right with seasonal temperatures. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, I will be in Gadsden this evening at Riverfest, so my next video here will be Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. Can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.